I don't want to sugarcoat it, though. Unchecked, prolonged stress that makes us feel anxious and overwhelmed and makes us exhausted has a direct line to disease. We know that. Is anybody shocked by that statement? But that's a profound impact. What I've noticed and observed over the last several years as a consultant in this area is that most people, the consequences of stress are subtle. It's walking home in through your front door at night and after a day of putting out fires and feeling like you're put, pulled in a million different directions, you're so exhausted, you've got nothing left in your tank for the people you love. Can you relate? It's being in a meeting and not being able to be fully mm. present and totally on side with the kind of leader, mentor, colleague that you really want to be. It's going to, I don't know what that was, but the third one is most powerful. <laughs> Leave it on, it's all good. Superpower. I'll make it a superpower. The subtle consequence of stress, going to bed at night, and instead of that being an enjoyable experience, that's the first time you have a chance to think about the problems of the day. And it just starts swirling and you're thinking about it and not sleeping. Actually, let me ask you this. Who has ever had their sleep impacted by their work? That is a problem. <laughs> but imagine if you have, think about your teams. What are they doing? How stressed are they? But see, we get really good at dealing with stress when you own a business, don't you? Who would say they're actually pretty good at it? Who gets frustrated that their team is not quite as good as they are? <laughs> I am going to give you the simplest tool you can use to actually start changing that. 